Welcome to Josh's Green Garage. In this video, I'm going to show you real quick how you could potentially fix an issue you may be having with uh, lifting the mower deck on your X700 series uh, garden tractor all the way. Uh, I had this issue a little bit, found out a really simple fix that I did not expect. So let's get into it. All right, so please excuse me a little bit today. It's a little bit windy. Uh, can't really control that. And unfortunately, I don't have a garage to stick this thing in. Um, but basically, an issue you may be having uh, is you may have noticed that your mower deck isn't going all the way up or you cannot set the mower deck to the highest position here on the deck height adjustment knob. Um, I noticed that my mower deck didn't seem to be raising as high as it used to have. Um, and then I also noticed that back here on the three point, um, when you turn that there, there's a, probably hard to see it, but there's a, there you can see it right at the tip of my finger. There's that little square lock nut. Um, that used to go up all the way past this rear rock shaft to where uh, it would not engage the rock shaft. And then I kind of had to manually hold it in place to get it all the way back to where I could actually turn that adjuster screw. So I knew there was something uh, a little bit wrong here and I was trying to figure it out. Uh, I'm gonna take you under the mower deck real quick to just kind of give you guys uh, an idea of how the deck height adjustment works on this thing for those that don't know. All right, so I'm hoping this stays in focus decently, but pretty much uh, right here, this silver metal plate um it's kind of ratcheted you can see these little this little like groove here and it's got those grooves incrementally on it well this is the what's on the other side of that deck height adjustment knob and essentially this piece of metal right here kind of has a hook on the end where my finger is and that uh moves with the rock shaft and basically when you turn this it changes the amount of space in between that adjustment and the rock shaft to where it can move so there's a lot of space there when you're on a real low position so this can go all the way forward as much as possible or if you have it lifted all the way up um, there's going to be very little space there and it's going to hold lock and hold against it uh, so basically the issue i uh, found i was having is i couldn't move this uh, to the highest most position and i'll show you real quick from the top so the problem you may be having is you can only get this to move to this position even with your deck all the way raised either here maybe here at the uh number four position and you probably can't quite get it to here um, and you definitely can't spin it all the way around like that um, but you should be able to as you can see mine goes all the way around um, so you know this should freely move i mean there's a little bit of you know pressure you got to exert on it but it shouldn't bind at all you shouldn't have to really crank on it and you shouldn't have to force it so um i'm going to show you really quick what the issue i found mine to be and uh, i kind of feel dumb about it um, but you know if you're having this issue maybe you've looked for any obstructions under there didn't find anything can't find anything wrong with the hydraulic cylinder so um i'll show you an issue you might have depending on some accessories that you may have so if you have the front hydraulic lift attachment for use of uh, a broom, a plow, a grapple, uh, what have you that hooks onto the front, if you have that front quick hitch, um, this could be your problem. And it is down here underneath the SCV, your, uh, your uh, shutoff valve there for the, for the hydraulics, for the deck hydraulics. Um, I found that I had mine all the way, uh, closed, so screwed all the way in. And I thought, huh, I wonder if it has something to do with that. And I thought I had changed it from when I was using my, uh, quick hitch last and turns out I didn't. So I screwed it all the way back out into the open position to where it's letting fuel or not fuel, uh, hydraulic fluid go to the, uh, hydraulics for the lifting and whatnot on the rear and all that and then i went to raise it a little bit more and it went right up <laughs> so really simple fix um i can't say this is going to be everybody's problem but it may be something that you didn't quite think of uh all that i had known was that this little knob here is for uh you know changing the flow hydraulic fluid to allow the front quick hitch to uh move faster so 
that ended up being the issue though i never would have thought it would have been it but i was like you know what let me try it real quick um i did a little googling real quick just to see if anybody else had had any issue like this and i saw there was a couple other people that are having an issue getting it you know to those very topmost positions um didn't see really too many fixes on there people were talking about oh you know the adjustment could be bent or damaged or something like that um but that you know may not be the problem in all cases so uh give this a try um sorry i know the video is probably a little long i like to talk i like to give a lot of information about things so i know simple fix that probably could have been done in 30 seconds but at least if you didn't know how all this works now you do so thanks for watching have a good one